Today we're talking about how to import and export project plans to online software. Well, in today's time, with all the different types of project management software, why would we want to even take the time to import or export that data? Well, there are several great reasons why. First of all, there are many different groups working on each project. They may be inside the organization, they may be outside the organization, and not all of these groups have access to the data. So this process allows universal sharing of that data. It also makes, it also simplifies the pain of this process. It makes it simple. So let's look at some of the data that we track in our online software. First of all, we track project data. So we track all the different types of projects, expenses, any discussions going on about those projects, our risk, our issues, our changes, even our resources, our timesheets, as well as some of the workload. So let's take a look at who needs what information. Well, first of all, you as the project manager needs insight into everything about the project. The project managers are concerned about the projects, any discussions going on, the tasks that your resources are working on, and any issues, risk, and changes. The project team is worried about the different projects that they're serving on. They also are responsible for entering their timesheet data as well as the status of their task. Then we have the procurement group. So the procurement group is responsible for procuring materials, resources for the project. So they need to be able to have insight into those procurements when they need to be made and also track the expenses for those. Then we have the accounting group that tracks all of the projects as well as the expenses associated with each one. And also the change control board who makes important decisions about the changes occurring on the project. They also need insights into the issues and risk that may impact as well. So how do we go about importing and exporting this data? Well, first of all, you wanna set up a process flow so that you know who does what, when, and where with the imports and the exports. You also want to determine the frequency of when those are done to ensure you have the most recent data. You also want to authorize the access to this data because not everyone needs access to everything. Then you want to validate the data because remember that garbage in equals garbage out. So you want to make sure that data is clean and relevant. Then you just import or export the data. And here, we recommend using templates to ensure the data shared is consistent. Some of the templates could be for timesheets, risk, issues, changes, or even some of your resources. So if you need some templates to help you with your imports and exports, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.